Okay, so now what we're going to look at is the pH calculation for strong acid and base. Okay, so the strong acid and strong base will dissociate completely 100% in your aqueous solution. And the concentration can be obtained of ion from the molarity. So, how we're going to find it? pH adalah negative log H plus. POH pun boleh cari juga negative log OH minus. Okay, so for the pH calculation, kita tengoklah. Kita boleh cari juga pH, boleh cari POH juga. Based on the concentration of H plus or OH minus. And the other name for molarity is concentration. So, we're going to look at question 1. Dia minta pH of 0.15 molar HCl. So, first what I'm going to do is the dissociation equation for HCl. So, they dissociate completely. Okay, and then kita tulis pH kita. Okay, tapi sekarang ni kita hanya ada concentration HCl. But we do not have concentration H+. So, how we're going to do it? As we can see, it's 1 to 1 ratio. So, maknanya concentration H plus dia 0.15 molar juga. So, I'm just going to um, apa ni? substitute the value directly into the formula. Hence, we will get the concentration, uh, the pH is 0.82. Okay, so that is how you answer the question. Tulis dulu equation, baru kita cari pH. Question 2, minta untuk 0.05 molar H2 SO4. I'm going to write down the equation, the complete dissociation. Okay. Okay, but then kita tengok H2SO4. Um, dia tak balance lagi sebab H2SO4 ada 2H. Hydrogen kita hanya ada 1. So, I'm just going to add 2 in the front of my H+. Plus. Concentration dia adalah 0.05 molar. Concentration of H+, plus 0.1. Okay, so kita tulis dulu formula. Okay. Remember, sebab pH dia, kita kena tengok pada concentration H kita. So, concentration H adalah 0.1. Okay, so that's why kita ambil. Adalah 0.1. Okay. So, next kita tengok adalah pH of 0.028 molar now. Okay, so tapi bila kita buat, kita tulis dulu, kita punya dissociation equation dulu. Which is fully dissociate. Okay, and then we know that the concentration of our now is 0.028 molar. Lepas tu bila 1 to 1 ratio, so sama sahajalah concentration dia. Okay, but we only have OH minus. So, tak boleh cari pH. Okay. Maknanya kita boleh cari, tengok ni, pH mesti negative log H plus. Kalau OH minus, kena cari POH. Okay. So, maknanya kita cari POH is negative log OH minus. So, kita masukkan sahaja the concentration. Hence, we will get 1.55. But then, the question wants pH. Tapi kita ada POH. How we going to find pH kita? Kita akan guna pH plus POH is equal to 14. So, we're going to substitute the value straight away. Okay. Then, we will get our pH is 12.45. Ah, So, kalau yang ini, make sure tengok dululah kita ada oh, pOH. So, cari um, pOH. So, lepas tu, then barulah kita guna the relationship pH plus pOH equal to 14. Okay, sekarang kita tengok this uh, question 4. You try it yourself. Make sure dissociate dulu. Um, make, write down the dissociation equation. Okay, so uh, sekarang kita tengok question 5. Dia minta pH of 0.5 gram H2SO4 in 500 ml water. So, I'm just gonna um, extract my information what I have here. Okay, so dia minta pH. So, kita dulu, tulis dulu uh, dissociation equation kita. Okay, but then right now, bila kita buat right, uh, dissociation equation, we do not have our concentration. Sebab, ingat tak, dia pH is equal to negative log H+. plus. So, we do not have the concentration lagi. So, sekarang ni kena cari concentration which concentration is number of mole divided by volume which it must be in liter. Kita boleh cari from your mass. So, here I'm just going to write down uh, calculation for the number of mole of H2SO4. And then I will get number of mole. My number of mole is 5.096 as per negative 3. So, volume Make sure change it into liter. So, Miss dah dapat dah my concentration. My molarity boleh carilah. We can find my molar, uh, our molarity of H2SO4 which is 0.01 molar. 
So miss substitute je This is 0.01 Tapi sebab dia ada 2 of H kita So maknanya Dia adalah 0.02 Untuk concentration H plus So I'm just going to substitute the value Hence I get 1.96 So that is the, your question Number 5 Okay, so number 6 ni, try it yourself. Tapi tengok dia now. So, tapi dia minta pH. But then remember, guna balik yang ini. Ha, pH plus pH equal to 14. Hence, you will get your answer lah. Sebab so, kita akan dapat pH dulu. Then kita akan uh, guna formula ni untuk dapatkan pH. Okay, right now look at question 7. So, dia minta uh, concentration of H plus dengan OH given pH 2.5. So yang ni terbalik sikit Sebab sebelum ni kita hanya ada Concentration Kita concentration cari pH Ni uh, pH cari concentration okay, So Miss keluarkan dulu formula Okay and then I'm just going to substitute lah My value Okay so yang ni Miss akan buat step by step How we going to find our H plus ni Concentration So I'm going to do first adalah Miss akan Darapkan both side with negative sign So jadi negative log tu jadi positive log Lepas tu H plus tu kan dia jadi Miss jadi ke subjek So both side Miss akan anti log kan uh, Kita punya uh, uh, both sides Okay anti log kalau calculator adalah shift log So dapatlah anti log kamu Okay so hence you will get the concentration of H plus adalah 3.1 CS pun negative 3 M. Sebab dia concentration Maka dia adalah unit dia adalah Capital M okay, Sekarang kita cari POH uh, Why? Sebab nak cari Concentration of OH minus okay, So Miss cari POH Is 11.5 Sekarang ni bolehlah Miss guna POH Ikut tu negative log OH minus So Miss masukkan sahaja Lepas tu uh, Kita akan Apa ni Darapkan both side With negative sign Okay And then Bolehlah Miss buat OH adalah Antilog Negative 11.5 Okay Yang ini Miss memang buat sengaja Buat one by one Just to make it clear to you lah Kalau kamu confused uh, Macam ni lah Buat step by step Okay So dah dapat dah Concentration dia Unit must be in Molarity Okay So number 8 pun Kita akan buat sama-sama Okay, so dia bagi pH kita 11.73 So I'm gonna insert my value Hence I will get uh, my uh, Apa ni, negative log H plus adalah 11.73 Pasal yang ni Miss terus dah terus Miss buat cepat sikit kan eh? So I will get the concentration is 1.86 exponent negative 12 But then the question is not yet finished We're gonna find POH pula nak cari OH minus concentration So my POH would be 2.27 Okay and then buatlah POH negative log OH minus So kita akan dapat lah when we do it one by one Sebenarnya okay je tak nak buat satu by, uh, one by one Tapi Miss sengaja buat supaya kamu nampak lah Supaya kita tak confuse nanti So you get 5.37 as pointer negative 3 Mula So Dah Siap So question